Hey guys, so in this video I want to mostly talk about the Herald of Ash clear speed potential. Some newer players are a bit confused how Herald of Ash exactly works and there is a modifier on Herald of Ash that doesn't work the way you may think because the game just does not clarify it. So the idea was to take a skill that is pretty bad for the clear speed without ignites and see if I can supplement that skill with Herald of Ash to help with the clear speed. And for that I picked Burning Arrow. And while Burning Arrow is actually very nice for bossing, it's one of the few remaining things that can still shotgun, meaning that multiple projectiles will hit the same target more than once. Now back to Herald of Ash and the first thing I want to clarify is the modifier that so many people get confused about. More burning damage. That is not global. That is actually applying only to the overkill burning damage. So this more burning damage modifier would not for example affect righteous fire or scorching ray burning damage. Now the quality on Herald of Ash does increase fire damage and that is global. So if you had quality 20 Herald of Ash that would give you 15% increase fire damage to your righteous fire or scorching ray but of course alone that is not really not really worth using. However more spell fire damage modifier would affect scorching Ray because it is affected by spell damage but not righteous fire because righteous fire is not affected by spell damage. Now you know those uh, new synthesis unique rings for example up to 100% increased uh, herald of ash buff effect and this mod on a ring should only affect physical damage as extra fire and more spell fire damage mod. Strangely when I try to test if uh, increased fire damage from quality is a buff it turns out that it's not. So the ring with uh, Herald of Ash buff effect doesn't seem to affect the increased fire damage from the quality. And now the last mod base burning damage is 25% of overkill damage. What this means is if enemy has one life remaining and you hit for 101 damage you will have 100 overkill damage. But you will use only 25% of that so you will apply 25% burning damage to nearby enemies. This is not ignite. Enemies can burn without being ignited but enemies ignited are always burning. For example enemies affected by righteous fire damage are only burning but are not ignited. So this burn from Herald of Ash cannot be proliferated with ignite proliferation. But history lesson it actually used to be ignite. And many years ago I actually did an ignite the Herald of Ash build. Shield charging around and igniting with overkill damage and of course proliferating that ignite. However in version 3.0 along with uh, Pantone powers and uh, Act 5 to Act 10 and nerfs to damage over time Herald of Ash has been changed from ignite into simply burning damage. And since then Herald of Ash has been mostly used just for the buff, just for the damage and just to have cool visuals with empty access. So I wanted to test it and see how Herald of Ash would work for the clear speed uh, these days. But Anyway, one more quick thing to mention is you can actually use elemental focus linked with Herald of Ash because the overkill burn damage is not an ailment which also means map modifiers that uh, allow enemies to avoid elemental ailments would not affect your Herald of Ash overkill damage as well. Now my main concern with Herald of Ash for the clear speed was the AoE. Damage can of course be scaled by just adding more support gems or just hitting harder and uh, overkilling more I guess which also means you would want more raw damage than just attack attack speed. And I came to conclusion that the Herald of Ash for clear speed is actually not that bad. I only have two AoE nodes from the Templar area and another 5% increased AoE from one of the jewels. But since the base radius is so small getting a bit more AoE doesn't always provide you an extra radius. For example I have 11 radius and if I were to take another AoE node from the Templar and go to the Witch AoE nodes I would still only gain one more extra radius. And then if I added increased AoE support gem I would still only gain 2 more radius and I would only have 14 radius. So for me 11 radius or 14 radius didn't seem like a big difference and that's a big commitment for very little benefits. Sadly also because it is not an ignite and you cannot proliferate it you can only apply this burning effect if enemies are nearby. If they walk over the dead corpses they will not get affected by it. The damage is not really an issue and I could support it with more support gems or get the Herald of Ash damage helmet enchantment. But if you are using a skill that uh, only for example shoots one projectile or if it's a skill with small AOE then Herald of Ash will still be pretty bad for the clear speed. I believe you can still use Worm Flask and uh, apply strong overkill burn damage from worms but it would be a completely different build. However in this case with Burning Arrow since I am shooting 5 projectiles 
projectiles. I do very often off screen enemies and the overkill damage uh, finishes them off. So with this build in many cases it did feel pretty okay. But of course with Ignite it would feel much 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 better. So I actually decided to bench this build and not really push any further. I believe I tested the maps up to tier 12 and I only reached level 81 I think. And that was the main goal just to see how Herald of Ash uh, clears enemies. But of course make your own judgment where you like it or not. I always try things that interest me and don't really pay too much attention what uh, other people think about my builds since in many cases it's not even about the build. If I want to do cast on death I will do it. If I want to play a flame dash build and try to defeat Jaber with it I will do it. Playing with zero resistances? Sure. Blade Vortex Totems? Why not? Stunning bosses with cremation? Okay. What I'm trying to say is that you don't need to chase and, and compete with others who does the better build. Unless of course you are actually racing and competing. So that's gonna be it for this video. For my next build I decided to go with the charge dash because well it just seems like a good driving simulator. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.